But religion, you know, it gives you some hope. Gee, if I'm good, I'm going to heaven. Do you believe in heaven? I do. If I'm good, I'm going to heaven. And if I'm bad, I'm going to someplace else. This was former president of the United States and current 2024 Republican nominee for president, Donald Trump, speaking on Fox News with Laura Ingram recently. Now, please understand this video will not be about politics or who to vote for in any way, because this is not a political channel. However, when one of the most popular figures in the world incorrectly mentions how to get to heaven, I find it extremely necessary to respond to it, hoping to prevent others from being misled. So what do the scriptures say about how to get to heaven? In the book of Acts, the Philippian jailer asked Paul and Silas, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? So they said, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and you will be saved, you and your household. And Jesus said in the Gospel of John, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. The Bible is clear. Salvation is only possible through faith in Jesus Christ. Now let me play part of that Trump statement again. If I'm good, I'm going to heaven. And if I'm bad, I'm going to someplace else. What President Trump is saying here is not a new religious philosophy. The devil has been in the business of trying to deceive everyone since the Garden of Eden. One of Satan's most powerful attacks on humanity is to get us to disregard the authority of Christ and convince people that they only need to be good in order to please God and go to heaven. Why is this such a dangerous belief? Because it denies the need to address our sinful nature, and it ultimately denies Jesus. Paul wrote in Romans, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. If only being good would get us to heaven, then it becomes up to us to secure our own salvation, thus not needing Jesus. This is not biblical. Paul also wrote in Ephesians, for by grace you have been saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest anyone should boast. If we could earn our way to heaven by our good works, then Jesus would not have needed to come and die for our sins. Despite what is recorded throughout the Bible, many today still believe what Trump is saying here, that if they just live a good life, they will one day go to heaven. The reality, unless everyone acknowledges their need for a Savior, repent of their sins, and put their faith in Jesus, they will end up in hell. And do not misunderstand me. Being good is not wrong. We should strive to live a moral, holy, and pleasing life for Jesus. After all, we are commanded to love God, love one another, love our enemies, take care of widows and orphans, feed the hungry, clothe the naked, and so on. But if you believe your good deeds, your good behavior, and your generous charitable acts will secure your ticket into heaven when you die, then you're not a follower of Jesus. Again, this video is not about voting for or against Donald Trump. I'm simply pointing out that his statement about being good in order to get to heaven is dangerously incorrect. Your soul and where you will spend eternity is so vastly more important than any political parties or who becomes the next president or if the United States thrives or is totally wiped off the face of the earth. If you are watching this video, and have always thought because you are a good person and have good morals that you will end up in heaven, listen carefully to what Paul wrote in Romans. But God demonstrates his own love toward us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Much more than having now been justified by his blood, we shall be saved from wrath through him. Friends, please let what I'm saying sink deep into your minds and hearts. Your goodness cannot save you because your goodness does not fix the sins in your life. Only by the blood that Jesus shed on the cross can our sins be forgiven. Salvation and ultimately eternity in heaven is only possible through faith in Jesus Christ. Will you put your faith in Jesus and begin living for him today? Dear God, thank you for the gift of life and for all the blessings you give us. Thank you for your protection and your provision over us. Please be with President Trump and the many like him who are relying on their good works and their good morals to get into heaven. Please remove this deception from their minds and open their eyes to see the truth of who Jesus is, why Jesus came, and why they need him. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Mm -hmm.